Hello everybody, welcome back to the Crypto Realm. Alright, so now that VC coins are dropping like stones like they should, and the money's not hitting the, the media, paying off the media just to talk about those coins and nothing else, Cardano is really hitting its stride. People are starting to notice what Cardano's all about, and they're starting to wake up, to be quite honest. Cardano is the shit. So, first Cody, the ultimate power grid of payments. They have some big news that just happened. In an era of everything digital, currencies remain outdated. <laughs> Currently, it's cheaper to pay in cash than to use banks, PayPal, Alipay, and the like. Cody is the first enterprise-grade fintech platform that empowers organizations to build their own payment solution and digitize any currency to save time and money. Here's their news, man. They just keep coming up with stuff. So... We believe Cody is uniquely positioned to serve enterprises, enabling them to launch their own private payment network, which includes the issuance of CMD, Cody Multi-DAG branded payment tokens. Damn, this launch signifies a massive step for the crypto industry, as well as Cody, as the Multi-DAG 2.0 will increase the growth of the widespread adoption of crypto payments for enterprises that are yet to adopt crypto payment solutions. So they just made it easy. Because enterprises don't want their business known, right? They're centralized. They don't want everybody knowing every step they do. But they, Cody just created a private payments network. Holy cow. On Cardano, this changes everything. Cody is currently trading at around $0.05 cents on CoinGecko. So this is just nuts. And this here, this is fun. Binance's CZ responds as poll ranks Charles Hoskinson as the most influential person in crypto 2022. I think this was the first year Hoskinson was even on the list to be voted. And boom, he takes number one. It just shows you how much people love Cardano and Charles Hoskinson. He's just been suppressed for so long by bad media, bought and paid for media. All right. Pundit claims Cardano is the most decentralized proof of stake chain, but at a cost. So they just go on to talk about, I'll leave links in the description so you guys can all take a look. But here's just a little quote by uh, Ben Armstrong. He's not everybody's favorite, but what can you say? It's real easy to save electricity when you are centralized. If you're unaware, the prioritization, I can't even say that word, of speed through centralization is the number one thing that hurt the Salona tech. There's a reason ADA is top of the list. Get it yet. So this is the cost, I guess, in what? Kilowatts per hour? Cardano has the most per transaction. Which is, you know, what can you do? But it is the most decentralized. Solona has the cheapest cost per transaction. Even cheaper than Visa, which is pretty cool, I have to admit. But if you look down here, I have no idea if I'm going to be able to find it right now because it's a pretty big article. But uh, here, it bears mentioning that although Solona consumes low energy per transaction, its total annual energy consumption is the highest for any proof-of-stake network due to the number of transactions it processes. Solona's annual energy transaction is 1.9 million kilowatts an hour, more than Cardano's at 598,000 kilowatts an hour. So there you go. Early this month, Indian blockchain specialist Suraj asserted that Cardano is more decentralized than Ethereum despite the letters in transition to proof of stake in September. Suraj based his claims on several metrics including the staking ratio, initial coin distrib distribution, and Nakamoto coefficient. According to Suraj, Cardano is more decentralized than any other proof of stake network. There you go. <laughs> so Cardano man. The most decentralized, the most secure, the biggest community, the best projects running on it. It's just amazing. They got Cody alone doing this private network. Cardano has a token coming out called Midnight. Has a blockchain coming out called Midnight with a token running on it called Dust. They just made that private. That's a whole private network. We'll see how that works. But it's for the same thing that Cody just did for enterprises to use. So nobody knows exactly what they're doing, but government can come in and check in the back door and see what's going on. It's not a back door, but they can come in and check and make sure your business is still doing things right. And there you go. Blockchain just answers so many things in every sector, in everything in this world. Blockchain is the solution. <laughs> From NFTs to ownership, you can own a house as an NFT and your wallet. All you need to do is remember that password. 
write it down, maybe store it somewhere in a vault safe, maybe two vaults, two different locations, somewhere safe, right? And you have it memorized in your head in case, say, you have a stroke. At least your family can get to those uh, passwords and get to the crypto. That's why it's there. But for the most part, you can just remember those passwords in your head and then nobody can take it from you. Nobody. That's the best thing about blockchain. It's, it's for the people, right? You own everything. You're in control of everything. And like I always say, take your money out of stocks. Take it out of banks. Put it into Bitcoin. Keep it in your own personal wallet, your own personal possession, and they will all fall like dominoes and they'll come to us. This is the crypto realm. Play hard, trade smart.